Good morning, everyone. It's Haley. Welcome to Mom Life Vermont, and welcome to a new adventure. Now, I have been in bed for a couple of hours, sitting there with my mind, having lots of ideas, and I've decided that today is going to be a what I eat in a day video. A couple of weeks ago, I had mentioned that I've been binge eating, and I was trying to, like, rein it in. And I either reined it in a little bit, because my stomach doesn't hurt anymore, or my stomach has just gotten used to the amount of eat food that I'm eating. Either one, I don't know. But welcome to what I eat in a day. Enjoy. Let me know down in the comments how you thought my day went. My goal really here is by showing you guys what I eat. Hopefully I don't eat as much. But even if I eat a lot, who cares? I'm in, self, I'm in isolation with my family. It's time to eat. Eat lots and lots of food. But today's going to be a better day. Today's going to be a good day. Today is going to be an intro. Like, I don't know. I feel like I've done these videos before and nothing ever happens. But I'm just really trying to, like, I feel like, I, like it's early in the morning right now. It's, the work day hasn't even started yet. But I, I, I feel like it's going to be a good day. But I feel like every day I feel like this. I feel like every day I'm like, I'm going to start with my coffee. I'm going to have a good lunch. I'm going to have a good dinner. And then something just goes wrong where I can't stop eating everything in my house. And then I eat and I eat and I eat and I eat and I eat. And while I don't think it's I do think it's bad, obviously. Uh, well, I don't think it's bad to do that every once in a while. I definitely feel like everyone has splurge days where they just eat everything in their house. But I've been doing it so much. So, 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 so much. And the world and life has definitely changed in the last couple of weeks. And the journey is not paused, although it did seem like for about three weeks I didn't do anything. I didn't exercise. I thought about eating healthy, but I didn't really like pay much attention to what I was putting in my body. I started working out again, which I think is really, really good. I couldn't sit down and pee after my first couple of workouts because my legs were so... Hey! Spike! I gotta make sure the dogs don't like run away. But I, I like I, I finally got back to working out and I have not been doing it to, I think, the extent that I was doing it previously. I mean, I realized that... Maybe a month ago, my my average weekly step count was over 10,000, and now it's down to 6,000 a couple of days ago, but I did notice it, and I was like, I need to get back up to that 10,000, and now I'm doing at least 1,000 more steps, so my step count's back up to 7,000. Let's hope we can get it up to 10,000 again. But I'm back to working out. Either way, I'm doing 30-minute workouts. I'm trying the 21-day fix with the Beach Body on Demand right now, which is definitely helping. Like I'm, I'm getting back into it, and I've want to run outside more. It's finally getting nice enough out. I mean, when I started this journey, I said I was going to the gym in order to do some road running. It's now nice enough outside where I can actually get outside and run. I'm trying to get outside and run. Kenzie and I went for a run a couple of days ago, as, as you saw. I'm going to bring you guys on another running adventure here soon to see if I can actually run a mile because running with Kenzie was more of interval running. Anyway, back to food. Where this is the food. I'm really hopeful that I can get my shit together. And as I was just telling you kind of like the cycle of my days, one thing I've definitely know and need to, to work on is this fact that I don't really have breakfast, partly because I feel like the moment I start eating, I can't stop eating. And what I think that is leading to is me not starting to eat until two o'clock in the afternoon. And then obviously I'm starving. Like I'm, I'm so hungry. My body wants so much food that I just eat and eat and eat. And then I don't have the ability, I have the ability to stop but right now my willpower is not working very well I think the, the goal today is not just to show you guys my food but maybe very be very very mindful of what I'm eating that was a, a term we had used a couple of weeks ago but being mindful of what I'm eating and making sure that I'm getting a lunch at a little bit more of a lunchtime hour making sure that I'm getting a good healthy dinner like I made dinner last night 
first time I've made dinner in a couple of weeks, but I made it at 10 o'clock at night. So let's make that happen at like six. And then maybe I can snack on, like, I just feel like if I made a good dinner and I had seconds of dinner, I'm not eating an entire loaf of bread or I'm not going to eat an entire cake. I don't really know. There's just, I like, I feel like the, the nutrition has definitely been a hard journey to be on this whole journey. Like that's like, I feel like I got the exercise down, but the food has not always been easy to come by. And my willpower with food is very bad. Let's just hope today's good. And oh, I guess I should also let you guys know I got called yesterday and my wellness coaches, my wellness coaching appointment, so my appointments with my nutritionist and an appointment with Andrew, who's the exercise guy, are pushed back for another month. So I'm not going to actually see them until May. Possibly there was an actually a reschedule of my appointment. So let's just hope, I mean, I want so 237 237 was my weight when I had my last wellness appointment my goal when I actually get back to my wellness appointment which will be in two months at this point is to be at 237 still or lower like I want to maintain during this crazy time it will be really nice to get my shit together and lose but I just don't want to gain so maintaining I think is like like don't try and like change the world while the whole world is changing around you just maintain. That's what we're doing. So I gotta get these dogs inside and I gotta get to work. I've decided to make a second cup of coffee. Not that that would make you know that, but I fill these instead of getting K-cups. But second cup of coffee for the day. That's what I'm having right now. And don't come at me. I know I should have breakfast, but I'm not gonna have breakfast. I'm thinking about lunch though. I have cowboy caviar made in my fridge. There's a video on me making it. It's fabulous, it's wonderful, but I've kind of gotten sick of it lately. I'm trying really hard not to let the cowboy caviar in my fridge go bad. That's hopefully going to be lunch today. So far so good, but like I said, usually I'm good in the morning. It's once I start eating, I can't stop. So let's hope that doesn't happen today. And I'm gonna have my coffee. So first thing I've managed to eat today, this bag of chips. I have been very good on this journey to not eat bags of chips. These are one of my like downfalls, my favorite. But this bag, which I'm almost done, has 410 calories in it, which I have to say was like a bit shocking when I first discovered that. So it did kind of like prevent me from eating them. And now that I just read it again, I can't believe I bought this bag of chips. But I'm on my period. I wanted something, something salty, and I'm very happy I picked this. That might be 100% an excuse to eat poorly, but I'm using it today, and I'm happy about it. The goal is to not let this lead into any more binge eating. I'm going to get home, although I just ate this, 410 calories. It's not going to fill me up. I'm going to eat some cowboy caviar. It's been a couple hours since I talked to you last, and I'm finally eating some cowboy caviar. Put some ranch dressing on it. Probably like a serving of ranch dressing with a whole lot of cowboy caviar. If you haven't seen the cowboy caviar video, go check it out. But this has black beans and chickpeas and corn and tomatoes and cilantro and peppers and onion and corn. Like there's just a, it's delicious. It's good. So I'm going to mix that on up and I'm going to eat it. And I have to say it's been a very good day. Like just in terms of like, I haven't been snacking throughout the day. Although I was thinking about it, it usually happens when the sun goes down. <laughs> that all of a sudden I wanna eat everything. It kind of reminds me of babies. Babies have the witching hour when they're like newborns, which is like from seven to nine, seven to midnight, seven to forever, that they just wanna eat and are cranky. And for me, I have like my binge hours, my witching hours where I just binge eat everything and it seems to be happening after dinner, after, so I don't know, we'll see. Maybe having this late healthy lunch is a good idea even if my first meal of the day was a bag of chips. We'll see, so I'm gonna eat. And so it begins. It's been like five seconds since I finished my, it's like I ate and now I know that there was like candy around, so I had one of these huh, Milky Ways, but these are Kensley's, I will not eat them. I'm hiding them up here for her, I don't know, putting them up there for whatever reason but when she asks for them there they'll be but I'm not gonna eat any more of them nope oh now all I want to do is eat like snacks we got ice cream yesterday strawberry ice cream and whipped cream 
and I didn't eat any yesterday and I really want some today. So I think my reward possibly for not binge eating now until Kensley goes to bed is once Kensley goes to bed tonight, I'll eat some. And I gotta figure out what I want for dinner because I, I feel like if I make a good dinner in the next couple of hours, that one will keep me busy from binge eating and two will make me have a good meal to have for dinner and possibly snack on for the rest of the night. Yeah? Because if I, I feel like if I have food that I can snack on that is already made, be it sweets or be it Brussels sprouts with chicken, I'll just snack on that. So I'd snack on the Brussels sprouts and the chicken if they were made. The same thing as if I made a bunch of cookies, I would snack on the cookies if they were made. So let's not make cookies. All of a sudden I was like, I need to make cookies. We're not making cookies, I'm just explaining a point. You get me? So no more candy, that's up there. I'm going to, I don't know, Kensley was eating a, eating. this is the other thing. So I snack a lot and I binge eat because I snack a lot, but then I can't not eat bits and pieces of Kensley's food. So maybe that should be a goal tomorrow, right now. Not even tomorrow, I'm doing it today. Right now, in this minute, I'm gonna try really, really hard to kind of like stop myself from eating Kensley's food that's left over, taking a bite of it before I give it to her. I'm, I'm just gonna stop those things. I'm gonna stop them. <sighs> laundry, I'm doing laundry. Hello. So I did snack a little bit this afternoon. I, but I have to say I picked good choices. I did some hummus and carrot, like I was seriously like, what can I eat? And since I was talking to you guys today, I was kind of like, I don't want to have the ice cream now. So I picked hummus and carrot, so that way I had a good thing to, good thing to tell you. And I had a, a clementine. And the clementine made me think about the fact that I've been binge eating. That's not something like that's what this whole video is about. But the binging hasn't just been like, let's eat an entire carton of ice cream. It's also been like, let's eat three pounds of clementines right now or a whole bushel of bananas. So it's been just a, a lot of that as well. And today while I was eating my clementine, I realized that I wasn't like enjoying it because I was shoving it in my face so fast. So I've also been eating really, really, really fast. All of that combined with been like, it's just kind of like obviously not the best. So I need to be mindful of that. And I think at one of my last appointments with my wellness coach, Lindsay, who's a nutritionist, she had mentioned that I was talking a lot about videos I was making and saying, ooh, today's gonna be a good exercise day, but I was never really doing that for food. So I think I'm gonna try and do that over the next couple, like if you enjoy this video, these are some of the videos coming up, is kind of like keep it up, like can maybe show you what I'm eating every day for a week. And because I'm talking to you about those things, maybe I'll be more conscious about being like, hey, I'm not going to eat an ice cream right now. I am gonna pick the healthier option. That way I have good things to tell you guys. Now let me pay for the McDonald's. More on that in a minute. We got the McDonald's. Now, Kenzie and I are on a little adventure here and I let her know that I would get her a happy meal. So we just went to McDonald's and the entire way to McDonald's, I was trying to figure out what I wanted knowing that I had to tell you guys and then I was thinking like I already had the bag of chips and I did buy a second bag of chips so should I really be buying McDonald's when I already have chips at home which are really good and that would be a treat and like probably similar calorie wise if not less for the the chips and I don't I'm I, I'm not really paying attention I mean I am a little bit like I am being mindful of like the amount of calories that I am putting into my body to an extent and I know that McDonald's food or really any restaurant food is like your entire daily calories in a cheeseburger. I decided I wasn't gonna get anything and that was super hard. <laughs> like I almost bought myself a coffee when I was there and I'm even at Dunkin Donuts right now and I'm thinking about buying myself a coffee now but I already had two coffees today this morning and the second one didn't make me feel the greatest because I didn't have anything to eat like 
<laughs> anyway, I successfully went to McDonald's, got Kensley a Happy Meal, and didn't buy myself anything. That is a win. I'm thinking about the chicken and sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts I'm gonna have for dinner. Like, that's what I've just decided. I'm trying to figure out what kind of chicken I want to do. Mm. That sounds delicious. I think I'm gonna just like get home as soon as possible to eat that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm super excited about that. So be excited for that portion of this video, which is dinner making. Now I, I feel like I there was one other thing I need to tell you guys. Oh yes. Outside of drinking coffee this morning, I have not drank a single thing. Like I haven't had water, I haven't had soda, I haven't had juice, I haven't had anything. And over the last couple of weeks of realizing that I was binge eating, I have been drinking a lot of Kensley's juices, like they're Capri Suns, they're little, like I'm like, it's just one. And one turns into half a box. I think that what I've been doing to myself quite often is not drinking anything throughout the day, getting thirsty at night, and then instead of going to water, always going to this juice because I wanted something sweet and vicious cycle. Because of that, and this has been a thought on my mind, I think I might have said it in another video, and if I am, if I haven't, surprise. I went to the store a couple of weeks ago and bought water. We don't have good drinking water, and I specifically bought extra water so that I could try and drink an entire gallon of water in a day. The goal would be to, I don't know if you've ever seen the, the individuals who take the jugs, speaking of jugs, take the jugs and we'll put like... 8 a.m. all the way down to 11 o'clock and the goal is to like drink to the little lines every time. I think tomorrow maybe in the next couple of days the goal will be to try and drink an entire gallon of water and I think this is a great time to do this because I am homebound right now. I'm very much not able to go out and about as much as I usually would and I'm working from home that it might be the perfect time to be trying to drink a whole bunch of water so that way I can pee it all out at home. Typically I have like a two hour commute three hour, two and a half to three hour commute throughout the whole day. It's kind of hard sometimes to drink a lot of water because of that commute. But I think that's like, it, this today's just like, because I've been so mindful of what I'm eating and what I've been putting in my body today in order to be able to tell you guys some really great things. And let me tell you, this is not an everyday occurrence, how well I've been doing today. Although it's not, the sun is still out. So we still have time until we get to the binging hours. Just obviously, if you're interested in seeing more of kind of like the food diaries that I'm going to be doing or how well I do in drinking water and kind of the journey in general, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell next to the subscribe button so you get like notifications on what's happening. And if you're enjoying this video so far, give it a like, give it a huge like, and let me know down in the comments how you feel today's gone so far. If you are on a journey of let me know how well that journey is going we are in a very interesting time and I'm hoping by the time you're watching this video we are well beyond this crazy isolation lockdown quarantine whatever you want to call it that um, it went well for you I'm feel like I'm doing so so I'm I've come to the realization that I'm no longer trying to lose weight right now I'm just trying to maintain what I've been doing because oh, I feel like life is crazy, but I still really want a coffee. Maybe if I look up the calories in a, in a Dunkin' Donuts drink, it will make me less likely to drink it. And I have the chips at home and I have the chips at home. McDonald's update. Hey, Kensley's leftover nuggets. I had a whole nugget and then a half a nugget. So I had a nugget and a half. Now I need to go make myself dinner. Otherwise I'm just gonna start snacking. I don't wanna do that. proud of myself dinner so I don't I didn't binge eat today I didn't I didn't binge on food this evening when it got dark when it was by when I was by myself no I had that really really good dinner which was chicken and like a parmesan garlic pasta and I am very sad about this 
but I dropped the cowboy caviar on the floor. So I ended up putting what was remaining in the cowboy caviar onto my plate and I made some peas and carrots. So that was dinner tonight and I almost, I couldn't finish it. There was just so much of it, but it definitely filled me up to the point where I am thinking, as I was walking in, I was like, I really want that ice cream. But the whole time that I was sitting out there and I could have been eating the ice cream, I was too full to have it. So I did not have the ice cream, but I'm gonna have that right now. I'm gonna go do that because that's what I want. I did really good today, so I'm gonna like reward myself with a little bit of ice cream. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Good day. How did you how do you guys think my my day went? Like I said, if you're interested in these like little food diaries, I think I'm gonna be doing them more because it definitely made me more mindful of the food I was eating throughout the day, which I definitely think is necessary. Because if I don't eat mindfully or if I don't pay attention to the things I eat, I end up having like an upset stomach because I've eaten so much. And I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that I am continuing on this journey, even if I don't have the amazing supports of my wellness coaches that I've been having for the last couple of months, the whole journey. I just, I'm, I'm doing all right. It's a crazy time, so you can't expect the greatest thing. I do have to say, tomorrow I'm going to try that to drink a gallon of water. And more food diaries are going to be on the way. I hope you guys are having a great one, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! -bye.